Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Battle Brothers Me Cornish Knight. Now we have an apps. We've had a, a, a large number of subscribers in the last couple of days, which has been really, really good. We've also had a lot of comments from everyone with people whose names they've wanted to have added, and I will get around to doing, doing that as soon as possible. Um, now, obviously, I'm going to have to do it when I have like money for my people available because we are slightly low on cash. So let's race down here and see if they have any work. Money, 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 money. We need money, folks. We've got four days worth. Level two contracts. Edgar and the steward welcomes you into his room and pours you a mug of water. He hands you it over you receive a smile. I'd offer you better ale or wine if they had it on me, but you know how things are nowadays. You take a sip and clear, and he clears his throat. Of course, what I'm not sort of as cr crowns, otherwise you wouldn't be having this conversation, right? I need you to go to a place by the name of the Crypt of the Morning, just southwest of here, and retrieve a relic by the name of the Blood Vial of the Holy Mother. Pretty simple, no? You ask what this relic is good for, the man explains. Townsfolk pray to it, vote for, vote for it, they find peace, call for rains, f for, fark their goats. Fark their goats? I don't care. They believe in it and it keeps them motivated from what? For, for that alone, it's worth retrieving. You did you you did right by coming to us. Let's talk about payment. Very well. This is what I am prepared to offer you. You'll get 710 crowns when the contract is done. Fine, fine. 760 crowns when the contract is done. Okay. Tools are not cheap, to be honest. We've got enough food for a bit. Money's the problem. I'm just going to hoard it for a moment. How are we looking health-wise? His hit points are a bit rough. His hit points are looking really rough. If we're going up against undead, which is what I'm thinking we're probably going to be doing, Okay, who's got the Son of a Morning Star around here? Give him that. We'll give him that. I'm gonna take the hand axe off you, man, because I need to give it to someone who's who's basically can use it. I mean, piercing weapons aren't that bad against them, but you could use it to hold ground, I suppose. I do just want to do direct damage. You might just want to do direct damage to them. His health points are low. I'm not happy about that. to go for this all the way down there. Seriously. Of course, going through the woods. Uh, five days worth of provisions. Four days worth of pay. going to throw some of my stuff I don't really need away just because I need to get a bit of money in my pocket right let's get this as quickly as we can get done folks money's the priority crypt of morning it's gonna be the ancient legion I just know it is let's go yeah, the hole in the ruins is big enough for only one man to get through. You're worried that if anyone gets in, get get if everyone goes in at once, they'll get stuck, and you have to basically kill the Kerner company off like a bunch of rats in a t in a tight tunnel. Instead, you send in only Victor, who knows what he's after and who and who you trust who can take care of himself. 
anything to if were anything to happen. A few minutes later, you hear the man struggling to crawl back out. The sounds he sounds being quite a rush. He yells for help, and you and your other mercenaries stick their hands into the hole. He grabs on, and together you yank him out. You, he's got the blood vial. Blood veil? Is it the blood veil? The blood for blood vial. I think it's blood veil of the mother. But a horrid look on his face. He rolls over to get up in a hurry. Hurry to arms. As the mercenaries look into the hole, they see something coming out. You ask the brother what he saw. He shakes his head. I don't know. So it was like a mausoleum for people I've never seen before. There were arms and spears. There was armor and spears all the place. Memorials of a great empire that's found the world over. Painted from floor to ceiling, and then they started to come out of the walls. I've got out there as fast as I could. And before you can finish the, ra the rabble where the hole used to be begins to sift and move, the, the rubble where the, the hole used to be begins to sift and move, stones roll away and suddenly they come bursting out a malevolent force standing there, armed with well armed uh, well armed men standing in formation, spears of a shield, shuffling forward in uniform steps, the leader direct points directly at you. The Empire rises, the false king must die. You never heard such fr fighting words and immediately prepare your men for combat. A few ancient legionnaires, some auxiliaries. Okay. None of them... Right, I'm just trying to think where can we do this easily. We need to make it a decent defensive line and we need to make it quickly. Probably falling back to this point here it's probably our best bit. I mean, we could funnel them into a choke point, I suppose. Hold this position. Yeah, probably here would be best. So let's get about it. Couple, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus all my energy on basically smashing up the Ancient Legionnaire's armour. Right, he's going next turn. What we want to do is you want to make a concave shape, so when they hit into us we can get more people on them than they can get on us. So, I'm probably going to want to put him here, in all likelihood. He's the guy that he's the archer that's got the glaive. So I'll stick him here and we'll start taking pot shots. One moment folks, the phone is going. Sorry about that folks. Let's get back to it, shall we? Gonna move him here. We could do rally, cost 6 HP and build 25 fatigue. 
triggers morale checks to rally fleeing allies within four distances. Triggers morale checks to raise the morale of everyone wavering. Not yet. We'll do it when the enemy jumps in. Let's take a shot at this guy. We missed. I'll hop him up here for the height advantage. Second, sorry, folks. It's so noisy today. Right here, they're going to be within melee range. Should probably pop a shield up. Pop him back there. See, we have for the company the extra resolve from the banner plus seven point, which is really nice. So the morale should be relatively steady. These guys are going to be a pain though. We'll pop rally. That should hopefully boost everyone's morale and then we should get ready for combat. There's no point releasing the war dogs. Shield wall up. Let's do this. Twenty-five percent success. Destroy their armor. Let's just start destroying their armor if nothing else. Come on, I had to shield up and everything. Steady, man, steady. Okay, there's an ancient legion there, there, which is a pain. But we've got to start destroying his armor as soon as possible. Who should we hit? Probably him. We really even missed. Let's just lash him. Uh, 42%. Missed. 39%. percent Jab at him. We're going to... He's got no body armor, so we're just going to smash him in the body. Or we'll finish him off. Falling apart. But he's going to be a pain. The problem is, if I take him out, he's going to basically jump up here. It's going to be a pain, so I'm going to smash him for now. Just smash into him a bit. Okay, that's just as bad. Right, let's destroy that shield of his. basically redeploy. He hasn't got enough stamina to get around there. Could jump down to combat with him, but it would leave my guy open there. But if we start... I might want to start flanking around and killing these guys off. Let's do it. Time 
time to get the glaive out. He can't do anything this turn. Right, he's going to be a monster to deal with, so let's smash him up. Nine percent. I might rush him around the flank here and start shooting at the guys in combat here. Okay, who do you want to jab at? Him, perhaps. Oh, he blocked it. Aren't you a nice fellow? Right. Get your gear out. Let's start beating on you. We'll take care of him first. Smash them. We'll focus on this one here. Smash him really hard. His armor's good though. He's probably going to start smacking me back in return. Ouch. Alright, we'll jump him up here. Finish him off. Oh, his, his main body armor's falling apart first, so we'll smack that for a bit. Ouch, that's bad. Okay, hit him. Well done, nicely done. Wait a minute, how did he get that react? Oh, because... Did he have that ability? I don't know. Smash that. Can we shoot into combat with him? Turtle. Let's break his shield. This undead hero here's here's gonna be a pain. We'll jump someone up there and finish him off. Um I'm just trying to think the best way to send him. Probably send him rushing around here to help out. We'll smash him up. Ouch. Jump him down here. Kill him. Get rid of his shield. It's dented. Bruised. We always keep, keep smacking him in the body if we can. Smash into him. So I do another rally the men. That might be good. Ouch, that's nasty cut. We need to put him down soon. Right, we killed him. Rusty guy's back here. He's got a cut, which is not great. Okay, I need to get him out of combat. So we'll move him down here. Shield bash him. So he's still pinned in combat, but he's on a lower height. And we'll continue to wail on him until he dies. So we got one injury, it's a bit of a pain. Got some okay stuff, ancient sword, which isn't too bad. Um, 
some more nice large shields and better helmets and a bit of money. You're not entirely sure what it was you ran into, but Mr. Baba asks if you know what they what they said. It seems they were pointing at you specifically, sir. Nodding, you tell the men you're not sure what the armoured man said, but it matters not. You have the blood veil of the Holy Mother, and it's time to return to Egon, the steward, for your pay. Well, let's dash back up here. Out of tools, which isn't great. We need a lot of tools, to be honest. Our food is low as well. In the time being, I just want to check something. Here, yeah, he's beaten up pretty badly. Ooh, SK leveled up. Give him that. Now, do I want to go down there? I want. Oh, let's see. Crippling strike is really useful. So. Give him back his crossbow. Stash. Here we go. He was armed with the aiming sword, which is 40 to 45, and the ancient sword is 38 to 44. So it's like it's a slightly worse aiming sword, I suppose, if we're looking at it. Now we're finished dealing with the un. Dead, I can pop back on their spears. He can have back. He can have that. You can have back your crossbow. Yeah, I think this tactic of having them with um. His stamina is terrible. I'll give him that because I like I like the new shields personally, even if they're not as effective. Ancient hell. Uh oh. Okay, that was weird. Sorry, folks. I just had a rather large computer crash, so. Okay. Hopefully this is still working properly. Hold on one second, my frame rate's all over the place and... Okay, that seems better. We're okay, some... Something's really weird is going on. Hold with me for one second, please. Okay, that seems to have sorted out the issues. I think. Okay, something really weird has happened to my game. Everything's massively laggy all of a sudden, I don't know why. Okay, we'll keep the ancient sword. Toss this. How's the food situation? Not great. We need a bit more food. Tools, I can't. They're cheaper to get them somewhere else. Okay, let's just try and get back up here. Okay, I have no idea what just happened. Sorry about that, folks. I think a program that I have running in the background acted up and it affected the game. That's probably the best bet for it. Ergon the steward meets you in the town square. You hand over the blood veil of the mo Holy Mother and the man cradles it as if it were, his as if it were an infant he thought lost. After a moment he of awkward embrace with the relic he holds it up high, letting the townspeople see it. They cheer for a time too long, truly. You have to elbow Ergon the steward to remind you to pay, he to pay you. Let's 
camp for a second until dawn comes because we need supplies. Right. We need some tools for a start. Food. He's hurt, but he should be okay in a little bit. Do we want to give anybody any of these helmets? 45. I mean, it, it will eat into their fatigue. That's the only downside about it. I mean, they all weigh the same. That one's a lot heavier. 130, Well, give him that one. Because it looks absolutely awesome. And we'll give these guys... Because these are just, like, better helmets. I know it, like, it's murder on the... On their stamina. But I do like these helmets. Morale is good, everything looks good. Our pay is not fantastic, but we can probably deal with that in quite a short amount of time. One thing I have been noticing, a number of other YouTubers have basically been doing this, and the thing I just wanted to say is that bandages aren't the same as medical supplies. Um, medical, medical supplies are basically these things here. Bandages are equipable items that you basically add to characters to do stuff in the field with. Okay. Probably dump some of my shields. These ones aren't fantastic. Just need to get a bit more cash. Uh, probably dump that because that's damaged. Organize everything. Just gonna pause it here. Yeah, um, I'm gonna. This is where we're gonna end it for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you've liked, please press the like button. If you've subscribed, please press the subscription button. If you want a character named in the game, just leave it at, in the comment section below. I will be adding more people to the party. I'm literally just a bit strapped for cash at the moment, so I'm going to check out some places for work. How's our reputation looking competent? Um, some of the villagers like us not too badly. Nori is happy with us. I'm probably going to do a swing down, check out the places here, here and here next episode and then we'll jump across the straits and check out the settlements here. Um, and then we'll head back up. But yeah, this map is a quite an open map. It's actually a rather difficult map, to be honest. How's the tool situation looking? Not too bad. As I said, if you want to look me up on Facebook or Twitter, the link's provided in the, in the um, section below. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.